DJ, this tattoo, it is another level. You perfectly rendered glasses, a ribbed turtleneck, a scarf. You captured the essence of this woman. I really, really love the hair. You could still see the eyes through the glasses underneath this filter, and somehow you captured it. The scarf is a really nice frame for that face. To me, this tattoo is badass. You killed it. For the next elimination tattoo, you'll be creating a portrait on your human canvas. Man, I can't believe we're doing portraits. I did not see portrait coming. Portraits are very personal tattoos. They allow no room for mistakes. Your shading and blending skills must be top notch. A good portrait? I mean, obviously you gotta catch the likeness. You know, it has to look like the person. Everything has to be in the right spot. I'm thrilled because it's what I'm known for. 20 minutes of daydreaming has passed through my head. <laughs> I get lost in the hair just like daydreaming that Today's style, like super smooth, portrait black and gray tattoos, they're super stressful for some people, but it's relaxing to me. I just love duplicating images. Aside from my canvas passing out and not letting me finish it, I'm clearly gonna win this challenge. Shane, of course, gets the perfect canvas. He got the best picture out of all of us. He could have done it in color. Of course, Shane would pick black and gray. Heaven forbid he have to whip out some colors. Going well, skin's pretty much how I expected it to be for this spot. An extra two hours would be awesome. Then I can relax, you know what I mean? <laughs> Shane's done nothing but black and gray. I haven't been able to just sit and do cartoons and colors the entire time, and that's exactly what Shane has done. If Shane stuck with the original picture and made the portrait color, I think it would have taken on a whole new life. Instead, he took the easy way out and did black and gray. Being Ink Master takes a lot more than just following a comfortable route. Time's up, that's it. Put your machines down. No more ink. That is amazing, bro. I'm winning it. There's literally like no doubt in my mind that I'm gonna win this thing. Welcome to tonight's elimination. This week, we've been testing your portrait skills. We'll be looking at your shading, detail, and how much your tattoo looks like the picture. Shane, you're up first. Out of all the portraits available, you chose the child. I didn't want you to think I was taking easy way out. I felt like this one would shine the most. The smile and the glitter in her eyes and everything. The hair was pretty crazy to take on. I've done a lot of child portraits myself, and ones with teeth are without a doubt the most difficult of children's portraits to do. It really uh, looks like the photograph. Really nice, accurate job. In the photo where it was not a lot of contrast, not a lot of definition to show the nose, you picked out just the right amount of subtleness and grazed this little soft details that pull it together. In the photograph, the light that's in her eyes is the reflection of the flash. The flash, yeah. And so you had to move that and use your white in a different spot to really make it appear lifelike. Awesome, I'm glad you noticed. Amazing touch, yeah, man. You really pull the likeness together. You definitely have the less is more approach. You did the name and the portrait. Nothing more needed. Great job, man. Thank you. Shane, you had the best tattoo of the night. Thank you. This week, we're testing accuracy. Accuracy means being able to do something with precision, being able to do exactly what your plan is right on the dot. A skilled tattoo artist must be able to accurately place every drop of ink in any skin. He must also be able to recreate a complex image down to the smallest detail. Today, you will be tattooing portraits. Holy this is gonna be a really big challenge for me. It's been a long, long time since I've done a portrait. Do not sound too much like a big tattoo nerd. My favorite thing about this photo is all these details in the wrinkles and the teeth and the white highlights. Perfect. This is me perfect. The detail and resolution on this picture is so good that I know I can knock this out. Uh, no turning back. I told Joshua that I was better than him. This is my chance to really prove it. All right, you ready? Mm-hmm. Today, you had to tattoo a subject intimidating for even the best tattoo artists. A portrait. Tattoo baby. How did you feel when you found out that the challenge was portraits? Portraits is something that I do a lot at home. I've had chances where I've shown stuff that I like to do and I haven't like nailed it, so I really wanted to redeem myself. As far as the accuracy on the tattoos, it totally looks like the guy. The only criticism I have is the right eye, a 
little bit darker in the photo, but you put that highlight in there, and that's your own artistic license that makes the tattoo even look better. Just those little things that you can do as a tattooist to add to something that's a photo, it makes it more dynamic. There's some very impressive parts to it. The highlight you put around his chin, you kind of emphasize that so that you don't lose the shape of the face. In the collar of the shirt itself, the whole real photo is dark, and you put the little highlights in to really capture the essence. The extra added touches that you gave to this tattoo really brought your tattoo to life. And this is the reason that it was hard to see you go, oh, well, I want to get out of here. This is what people are going to remember. If you go out on your shield, at least you went out like this. All right. Thank you. The best tattoo of the day is pretty clear. We don't need a deliberation. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Tattoo Baby. Today you came back and you did a great job. You stood up for what you know how to do and what we believe that you can do. You did a great job, very happy for you. This week, we are testing technical precision. If you don't have technical precision, your lines won't be in the right spot, your shading won't be solid, you'll basically just make a mess. Today, you'd better be on your A game because you're tattooing the toughest test of technical precision, a color portrait. This isn't something that's easy. If you can't technically tattoo the shadows and the precise lines, it's not gonna look like the portrait, plain and simple. But that is not all. You must tattoo color portraits of characters who are recognizable to millions of fans all over the world. X-Men. Sweet. Oh. I can't screw this up. Or fans around the world are gonna go, what the hell did you just do? I won the last two challenges, and Maddie took it this time, so now me and Maddie are going toe to toe. This has now become a showdown with this Wolverine tattoo. The back of the calf is horrible, so yeah, if you can give me that thigh, bro, it's gonna give us an you advantage. You got the thigh, brother. Awesome. I have never been so determined to win. Same shot. Where are you doing your thigh? Yeah, me too, man. That only could be one Wolverine. Uh, yeah, it might be me. Yeah, I think it might be me. My guy won the last challenge, so. Only time will tell, amigo. I am so focused, there is no way that Maddie's gonna beat me. It's awesome, man. If he wins, he can validate his skill. If I win, you know, it's cool. And that's it. Machines down, no more ink. Wow, that is awesome. Today, we ask you to use technical precision to create an X-Men color portrait. Scott. You stuck to the structure of the face. You kept the likeness of the character. Not going with the dark background around the hair, I think, is a wise choice. This tattoo has a ton of technical precision. That nice, clean netting in that armor, it's beautiful. The glow in the background is nice. It's a good use of color palette, and overall, it's a really strong tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. Wow, that's a lot of work going into that. That is fantastic. Do we have a winner? We do have a winner. And the winner is... Scott. All right, congratulations, Scott. There is no tattoo that requires more precision than a portrait. Portraits have showed their ugly face in the building. Oh, if you don't use precision and put things where they're supposed to be, it's not gonna look like that person. To tattoo an accurate portrait, you must capture the subject's likeness by precisely placing every single drop of ink. A facial feature, even a millimeter out of place, could change the appearance of your portrait entirely. Portraits are some of the most popular tattoos because canvases can have a loved one with them forever. For your canvases and subjects today, this is especially important. What? Because they are often separated by thousands of miles for long periods of time. They are all active military. Wow, awesome. And they're all about to be deployed. Oh, man. Serious. Portrait. Man, this is my day. Cruzman, you can throw anything you want at me. This is my style. I've got the win no matter what you give me. I believe I'm the only one doing full color. Full color. Every You're color. Going full color. 100%. Wow. First tap, man, I got to go all the way, right? That's what I hear. 
Man, this challenge is about active military guys. They're about to get deployed. I've been there where those kids are gonna go. I can imagine what my dad went through when I got deployed. A lot of people just don't understand what it's like to go do something traumatic. This is my day. Everything about this is all Chris Blinston. I was pretty shocked he got this. I was surprised he gave it to me. I was surprised he chose the one for himself he did. I wasn't the least amount of faith. Good point. If you're Good not point. a portrait tattooer, then it's the least amount of portrait you have to do. It's a lot of frosting. That's it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. Oh, that's sick. Dude, that is so awesome, man. I freaking nailed it, man. Yeah, my pleasure doing that for you, man. Dude. Today, you had to give canvases and their loved ones a way to stay together even when military service keeps them apart by tattooing a portrait. Chris. When Cruzman gave you this canvas, what was your feeling? I can't believe that he handed me the color portrait. And that's like handing me a gold medal. When I look at the tattoo, I love it. Really a beautiful tattoo. Thank you. Today is a you know, special day with the military guys. And every one of them is going to deploy. I've been there. 20 years ago, my 11-man team was sent to Bosnia as part of a special operations Marine Expeditionary Unit. There was uh, no stores, no way to buy gifts. And so I ended up drawing a lot of portraits and uh, pictures of kids and family members and all that. The guys would send them home for her presents. So they're the ones that encouraged me to tattoo. So coming here and giving these ladies and gentlemen the opportunity to have a keepsake right before they get deployed was special. Well, Chris, I think you did an amazing job. It's definitely bulletproof. It is definitely solid. The attention to detail in the clothing and the fabric in the flag set this thing off. And this thing's strong, man. I think it's hard to do a color portrait that's gonna have that realistic look. The face itself looks like a poster to join the Navy. It could be his brother, his cousin, or anybody that looks a little similar. It looks like an illustration. It's a technically precise tattoo, but you're lacking the photorealism qualities to make it look like a photo. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Chris. Congratulations, man. For this elimination tattoo, you must tattoo the ultimate test of accuracy, a portrait. Portraits, my Achilles tendon. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah, portrait day, that is my day. I don't see anybody in this house beating me on a portrait challenge. And today, your canvases want portraits of toddlers. Toddler portraits are so much more difficult than normal portraits because the proportions have to be very round and soft. Otherwise, you can age the image and make it look like somebody that it's not. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Gian's freaking out right now. This is the best possible scenario for me. I do portraits all the time. I don't see anybody in this house beating me on a portrait challenge. Sometimes when you wipe it, it's worse than a tattoo. Yeah, that I took a big risk playing my strategy the way I did, staying in that middle ground. Now that things are heating up, I need to step it up and start winning. Today, we were testing accuracy with toddler portraits. Each of you went head to head with another artist on the same portrait. Let's see how you did. Nate. You tattooed the same portrait as Gian. Nate, you captured the likeness. I like the way that you captured the little indention on the top of the nose and the really subtle highlights in the eyes. And that little glimmer is perfect. I love the way you put a line right on his hand. Normally, a lot of people don't do that and it gets washed out. Accuracy, it hits the mark. Thank you. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Nate. Thank you. Today, you must tattoo traditional illustrative portraits. Ooh. My life. What? I love doing portraits, but what is a traditional illustrative portrait? We're going to find out. All right, guys, we are looking for a portrait. We're not looking for a realistic approach, but we are looking for traditional illustrative style. Looks like a mer doesn't, and if it doesn't, you lose, and if it does, you're in a great shape. This is going to be interesting. So how did you know this kid? We're basically training together. Oh, really? That's why you really kind of make the bonds, I think, right? Yeah, you're going yeah we got real close. 
Anytime you do a memorial piece, the expectations are super, super high. I mean, this is his friend. He passed away overseas, and that's heartbreaking. My boyfriend's in the military. Okay. Yes, he's actually about to go to Afghanistan again. Every time my boyfriend leaves to go overseas, I can't think of all the bad things that could happen, but for some reason I always do. My mind just goes there and I hate it. And I can't even imagine the people out there who have lost their loved ones overseas. Worst possible scenario right now is that I f up this dude's face and it does not look like his friend. And I am not prepared to do that. It is not gonna happen. I'm not gonna let it happen. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more in. I'm so excited. Does this look like your friend? Absolutely. Good, that's what I was hoping for. Killed it. Yeah. Today, you had to tattoo a traditional illustrative portrait. Danny. You definitely captured the look of this guy. If you look at precision, ear to ear, lips to lips, eyes to eyes, the details are there. The way you simplify the clothing, the clothing looks really great. The beret looks really great. Your details are very precise, which shows that you very strictly stuck perfectly to your details, which definitely hit precision today. Thank you. Congratulations, Danny. The judges have decided that you have the best tattoo of the day. Feeling different than you felt last week, huh? Given that he's a military member, I wanted to make sure that it was represented correctly. So getting this right, it was a big deal, and I just appreciate it that you guys noticed. Today, you must tattoo. Here it is, guys. A portrait. No. It's about time. Yeah. Finally, this is my time to shine. Of a senior citizen. What? Ooh. Leatherface. That's so much little detail. Senior citizen portraits are difficult because you want to capture the likeness of that person, but you don't want to overdo their wrinkles because you'll make their entire face look leathery and scary. We knew it was coming okay. eventually, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Portrait day. Because of the fact that I got to pick the best one, I really have to execute it. Because if I drop the ball and somebody that got a grenade does not, it's embarrassing. Today, you had to tattoo portraits of senior citizens. And you were being tested on precision. Jarrell, you had the advantage. Let's start with you. Overall, you execute a very nice portrait that picks up the nuances of the man. You nail the eyes. You definitely nail the nose, the gray hair. You nail. Everything's very clean and precise. You have areas that transition from dark to light, creating contours. Overall, I think you get a really smooth effect with this portrait. Thank you, guys. Judges, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I'm with Jarrell. Yeah. My vote is for Jarrell. Yeah. So close every time. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Jarrell. Thank you, guys. Today, you must tattoo color portraits. Oh, shit. There it is. Oh, Damn. There it is. Oh, oh, yeah. That's right. We are testing precision with Nico style, color realism. Here we go. Every little facial detail must be precisely and perfectly rendered with solid saturation and smooth color blends, or your canvas will be left with an unrecognizable mess. I'm super pumped on this one. So I'm just kind of getting stuff blocked in right now. Mm -hmm. Portraits hit a point when you can breathe. You're like, all right, yeah. that's grandma's face. And then yeah. you can just make it cool as shit. I picked this vintage photo of this awesome grandma with orange hair and these big, silly glasses. This picture just has a vibe. It's something unique, and that's what I love. What got you into tattooing? I've been doing art since I can remember. I applied at a shop when I was like 17 years old. I wasn't even legally old enough to get a tattoo, and the rest is history. The moment I found tattooing, it changed my whole life. I love creating art for people and really changing other people's lives. Been a wild ride. That's it, time's up, no more ink. It's oh. perfect, yeah, it's so good. Yeah, yeah good. thank you yeah, so yeah, yeah. much. <laughs> Today, you had to tattoo color portraits. Let's see how you did. DJ. What's going on, guys? DJ, this tattoo, it is another level. You perfectly rendered glasses, a ribbed turtleneck, a scarf. You captured the essence of this woman. I really, really love the hair. You could still see the eyes through the glasses underneath this filter. And somehow, 
you captured it. The scarf is a really nice frame for that face. To me, this tattoo is badass. You killed it. Thank you, guys. Judges, it's time to determine the best tattoo of the day. There was one tattoo that absolutely exceeded every expectation I had. DJ's precision on point. He went so far above and beyond and showed us transparency. He showed us shine in the glasses. He rendered a plaid scarf. This tattoo tells such a great story. My vote's for DJ, best tattoo of the day. My vote is for DJ. DJ, you crushed it. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to DJ. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations, DJ. You are safe from elimination. It warms my heart.